Good morning, this is Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. I'm getting ready to fix our green smoothie. And uh, this morning, because we were able to get some of, the, uh, some of the chia seeds at Whole Foods Market, we're gonna add that to our smoothie. Also, adding mango, now this is frozen, solid. So we're gonna add a little bit of the mango. Got some organic kale, and I did find some little aphids on it, so uh, I'm not real thrilled about that. That's kind of like uh, the kale last year from our garden. We ended up having to wash the aphids off of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a bunch of grapes this morning for the sweetness. Juice from three oranges two pink lady apples, which I'm going to leave the peeling on. I'm just going to take the seeds out. And I'm going to definitely put peanut butter in this morning. So, I think that's it. I wanted to talk to you about the chia seeds. This is probably not something we're going to continue because we do take the fish oil for the omega-3. This reminds me of a pond with little tadpole eggs in it. That's what it reminds me of. You soak it about, um, well, it actually had only, this only soaked about 15 minutes, but it forms a gel. And supposedly this gel is good for your digestion, soothes your uh, intestines, and, you know, makes uh, bowel movements easier. That's what they say anyway. We don't really have any problem in that area, but... We're going to go ahead and give it a try. It was $18.75 a pound. Now, I think a pound would last a pretty long time because they're real little seeds. But I did rinse the seeds uh, real quick before I soaked them. I don't know why I do that. I just seem to like to wash everything. All right, so we're ready to get started. Um, as soon as I juice the orange and get the uh, seeds out of the apple. So we'll be back. All right, we've got everything peeled now. Uh, well, I actually didn't peel the apples. I just took the core out of them. But we're ready to get started. Now, some of my stuff is frozen still, like the uh, mango and the grapes. So I'm just going to put the, the uh, kale leaves in first. And I'm going to dump in the juice from the three oranges. And this little Black and Decker juicer thing, I do have a, a icon from Amazon on my website under Healthy Smoothies. And it is cheaper through Amazon than it actually is in Walmart now. So, anyway, I'm going to dump that in. That's one cup of fresh squeezed orange juice. And I don't know what to put in next. The chia seeds, I'm going to go ahead and put those in. And that's not, this is not something I'm real thrilled with because they look like tadpole, tadpole eggs to me and it's kind of sickening. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead with it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put in some peanut butter now. Not putting much peanut butter, just enough to satisfy Mr. Becky. I'm going to go ahead and put in the frozen mango. And I think I'll do the apples next. Well, I don't know. Yeah, apples I'll do next. Then my grapes, they're all still frozen. And let's see. Oh, I'm just going to put in a little bit less of the frozen almond milk this morning. All right, here we go. That lid's locked on there, and I've got it plugged up. All right, so here we go. Variable speed, starting out on one.
taste of that and see how it is. You can still see little specks of apple peeling in there. Mm-hmm. Needs a little agave this morning. Got a tablespoon or so. All right, mixing that up. seed or, or that might be grapes uh, I'm not uh, grape seeds but grape peelings I'm not sure anyway let's give this a try now I don't think we're going to be uh, doing the uh, uh, chia seeds first of all they're 1875 a pound and um, of course the main benefit is the uh, omega-3 and it also has some omega-6 in it but you know we take fish oil that's a lot easier and a lot cheaper and um, you know they say oh the fish oil is going to have some mercury in it well we've been we've been doing the fish oil for forever so I'm really not that concerned about it all right so let's see how this goes let me let you look at that There you go. Yeah, it looks pretty smooth. I mean, I can see the little uh, specks of uh, either grape skins or apple skins. Probably the apple. All right, did a little better this morning. Only got probably a fourth of a cup left in there. All right, here we go. Let's try it. I can taste something different and I can't tell what it is. Let's see. I don't know. Can't tell what it is, but it's good. But I just suspect the chia seeds are kind of not going to happen, you know? Mm. It's pretty good. All right, we will see y'all next time.